One of the really cool things about Articulate Storyline is that you can easily create hotkeys that allow your learners to use keyboard shortcuts for different tasks. Like in this example, I've set up a couple hotkeys so that learners can press their right or left arrows on their keyboard to move forward or to back up. And this is just kind of a nice option, especially if your learners aren't able to use a mouse to navigate. Because even though they can use their tab key to tab through your course content, which is what I'm doing here, you can see that yellow box is indicating the item that the keyboard is focusing on as I tab through here. It kind of moves through each item on my slide and on my player. And that works fine, but it might just get kind of cumbersome to have to tab all the way through, all the way to the next button for every single slide every time they want to advance. So here's another way. You can see that my mouse pointer is off here to the side of my course. And what I'm gonna do is just use my keyboard here to press my right arrow to advance. So here's the next slide and I'll do it again to advance one more time. And then if I want to back up, I can press my left arrow and we'll do that a couple of times. And here we are back at the beginning of our sample. So it's super easy to set this up. All it takes is a simple trigger for each hotkey that you want to create. So let's see how we can do it. Here's my course and storyline. And what I could do is create my triggers on each slide of my course, but that would be pretty time consuming if I wanted the same hotkeys to be available for all slides. So a much quicker way is to insert my triggers on my slide master instead. So what we're going to do is come up to the view tab and then choose slide master. And I could, you know, apply the triggers here to an individual layout or, you know, some of my layouts. But again, if I want those triggers to be available for all my slides, a better way is to come all the way up here to the actual slide master, because this is kind of the parent of all of these slide layouts below it. Any triggers that we apply here are going to also apply to these related slide layouts. So with my slide master selected, I'm going to come over here to my triggers panel, click this button to create a new trigger. And the trigger wizard is where we tell Storyline what we want to have happen and when. So the action is already selected for us. This is the right action. Jump to a slide. Which slide? The next slide. So that looks good. But when do we want it to happen? Not when the timeline starts. We're going to click in this little selector here and change this to when the user presses a key. And then this key field opens up. We'll put our cursor in there and then just press the key that we want learners to use. So when I press it, you can see that Storyline fills it in for me. And the object is fine. This is just selecting you know, the actual slide master that we're on. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And that trigger is done. And now we'll create a new one for the left arrow key to back up. So we'll create another new trigger. And this time, we're going to jump to not the next slide. We're going to actually choose previous slide. And the when is going to be when the user presses a key. And this time, it's going to be that left arrow key and we'll leave the object set to the slide master and click OK. That's all we need to do. So if we close our master view here and preview or publish, we should see the behavior that we want. So I'm going to press my right arrow to move forward a couple of times, and I can also use my left arrow to back up. So setting up hotkeys like this is a great way to tailor the navigation of your course to fit your learner's needs. And you're not limited to using hotkeys for just the previous and next slide. You can create uh, keyboard shortcuts for virtually any action that you want your learners to be able to complete by using their keyboard.